Welcome back to another YouTube video. In this video, we're going to be going over the basics of editing in Premiere Pro. Now this video will just teach you the basics. We won't go too in depth with everything because those will be separate videos, but this is just something to get you started. So let's get into it. So once you open Premiere Pro, you're greeted with the home screen and to simply start a new project, all you have to do is click new project. Once you get here, you can name your project such as how to edit and you can change your location depending on where you want it to go. Just save it to your most recent one. Here you can import your media. You can simply go to documents, desktop, wherever you may want to. But up here, we're going to click edit. So now we're in the Premiere Pro workspace. As you can see, we have different things here. Now we're going to import our media simply by clicking here and now you can select one by one or let's just copy this and press import. Now we have our clips here. So now when you click window, you can see the multiple workspaces that Adobe presets and has to offer. Depending on what you're editing, you can open these different workspaces such as audio, caption and graphics, color editing, depending on what you're doing. You can also create your own workspace by simply hovering at the top of a panel until you see this small square and just moving it wherever you may want it. And then to save that, you will click Window, Workspaces, Save as New Workspace, and you'll have your new preset workspace that you can just click and everything will be there how you want it. But for the sake of this video, we're just going to open the editing workspace. Now, once we are in here, to create a new sequence, you can click File, New, Sequence, and they have different presets of what you may need. Now what I use, I usually do the UHD 4K 23.976 frames per second, but it all depends on what you do. If you're editing for 4K, you can click UHD 4K 2160p, but if you're just doing 1080, just click this one right here. Right here you can name your sequence, as well as if you click settings, you can change your frame size, and if you're shooting, for instance, for social media, you can simply just reverse the values and that will create vertical for you. The bigger value first will be horizontal video. The smaller value first will be vertical. All you have to do is just switch spots. We're gonna click OK. And now we have our workspace here. So let's go ahead and drag and drop our content. Now here, this is showing you what's inside of your sequence, what you're editing. If you go ahead and double click any one of these, it will show you the source channel, which is showing you just a preview of what you're about to put in or whatever you highlight. Here you have your effect controls and we're going to get to that in a minute. Then you have your audio clip mixer, depending on how many audio channels you may have. You have your metadata, which I don't really pay attention to and you have your properties, different things here. Now keep in mind, this is the editing workspace. Next, we're going to learn the essential tools that you need to go ahead and edit your videos. Now, as you can see, when I move this around, it's following the audio track with it as well. Depending on what you're shooting, you may not need the audio track or you may wanna put a different audio track. It all depends on what you're shooting. But if you want to remove the audio track, go ahead and right click scroll down and you can click unlink and now boom your video is free and your audio is free now this is the selection tool the selection tool will allow you to select basically whatever you need and it's basically your just your pointer mouse here you have the track select forward tool the ripple edit then the razor tool the razor tool is used to cut different things cut your clips up however you may want it and also to reset everything that you may have done just press command or if you're on windows Control z you have your slip tool pen tool rectangle tool as well as your type tool now if you're just editing your clips and you just basically want to do a cut and drag all you have to do is simply click your razor tool cut this part out select your selection tool and just click and drag from here now, you can select this little spot right here. And when you right click, you can press ripple delete 
or you can just click this which highlights the space and press delete and there you go so with this now you can cut and paste and do whatever you may need to arrange your clips so let's just do a basic edit so i'm going to cut here i can just select this press delete and then go ahead and ripple edit now another way to also cut you can simply just select near the end of the clip and just drag now this will allow you to extend or to remove parts of your clips so let's just click ripple delete there and then we have this clip so let's just do it just like that now that you have organized and edited your clips we're now going to jump into the effects tab so down here you have this window that has your project your media which you can browse whichever media you may want graphic templates and you have different ones here but we're going to click the effects panel once you click here you can find various amount of things here is where you can import your own presets or remove your own presets but you have lumetri presets audio effects audio transitions video effects and video transitions now we're not going to get too deep into everything but we're basically just going to show you how to start editing your footage so for instance in video transitions this is all your transition needs for instance i can click dissolve cross dissolve and when you select it all you have to do is drag it on over and find the edge of your clip either you can fade one clip fade the other clip or fade them both into each other this tool right here is used to zoom in and here you can set the duration of how long you want it to be you can also right click and press set duration this allows you to precisely time how long your duration should be so we're just going to place it maybe like this and press play so that's the basic transition you can do now when you go to the effect controls panels this is what you can use to keyframe or adjust certain parts of your image so as you can see our scale tells us how small or how large we're going to have our video here we have our position we have the x and y axis for our position here you have our rotation you have your crop left crop top crop right and crop bottom well, now when it comes to scaling as well you can take off the uniform scale and this will allow you to scale either the height or the width i usually uniform scale to make everything symmetrical now these right here allow you to reset it and here's our opacity we can see how much of our video we want to be seen and these are our different blend modes i'm not going to go too deep into these but this will be a separate video now here you can also create keyframes so you can set this to whatever value you want and it will simply just adjust depending on the duration depending how far the keyframes are from each other now when it comes to having multiple videos that you may want edited or you may want them to overlay on top simply all you have to do is take this and place it right on over your image now let's say for instance we can mess with our opacity and we can have two images blending into each other we can have a cropped image like so pretty much anything you want now to add another video layer you can simply right click here and you can press add tracks and this will allow you to add whichever amount of tracks you may want up here and any audio tracks you may want to add down here now when it comes to creating text simply just click type tool right here place it wherever you may want it and in this setting which is the properties tab you can simply Let's say we wanna type the fair. Now when it's highlighted, you can adjust the font size here, or you can type in however big of a font you may want. You can change the font style. And when you go here, you can select whichever color you may want. So let's say we want it yellow. We can adjust this and select our yellows. Then you have the stroke. You can select how big you want the stroke to be right here. You can also select the color so we can change our color to, let's say, black. Then you have the background as well as the shadow. But let's just do this. Now, when it comes to aligning the text, you can align left, middle, 
right, top, center, or bottom. To place it dead center, however, you can select horizontal as well as vertical. And now it's in the middle. Now you can see our text is right here. It creates this layer right here that we can move whichever place we may want to, as well as you can type in the duration by selecting speed slash duration right here, or you can just adjust it like this per clip. You can also add effects onto your text, such as here, video transitions. So we can place that there. So now when it comes to editing audio, you have all your audio tracks down here, as well as you can add different ones that you may need. But let's say you wanna add some music. You can import the music the same way that you import video. So over here, I have my music track here. And let's just go ahead and add that right on there. So now that you have that there, it's like this. Now to adjust the gain, or the loudness of the song, you can either select this white line down here and just hold it down like so, pull it down, or you can right click, select audio gain, and this will allow you to adjust your gain by a certain amount of decibels, or you can set your gain to a specific decibel with negative being the low and positive being the high. So now when it comes to audio, you can do transitions as well. So let's go to audio transitions here and you have your crossfades. And let's say we want it to ease its way into it. We can select constant power and place it at the edge of our clip. You can also adjust the duration the same way by right clicking the effect and select the duration, or you can simply just drag it on by holding the end of it. I'm just going to adjust it right here. And now we have this. So now we have this right here. So we can go to audio effects, for instance, and now we can add an effect to our audio. So let's add low pass, which makes it somewhat sound underwater. So now we have this. You can also add these transitions in between the audio by going here and just placing it either in between or on the edge. So let's just put it on the edge here. And as you can see, we have a nice smooth transition. You can also select your blade tool to cut and chop wherever you want your audio to stop or come in. Now with that, we can select the tail end and press delete. You can also do the same thing, you know, drag however much out you may want the song to go or your different audio. But let's just put it right about here. And let's go ahead and add an exponential fade at the end. Now when it comes to coloring your clip, you can select workspaces, color, and here you have your Lumetri color tab. Now I'm not gonna go too deep into color grading, but you can check out these two videos that we have here. Here you can adjust things like your exposure, your contrast, your highlights. You can adjust your white balance by selecting the teardropper and selecting a part on your image. Or you can just play with these knobs right here. Now when it comes to exporting, you can select export right here. Your sequence name will be your file name, but you can also change it around how you may want it. Here you have Premiere Pro presets such as 4K, HD, 720, 480, different ones you may need. And you can also create presets as well by selecting these three dots right here and save preset. But for the sake of the video, we're just gonna use the ones that Premiere Pro offers. But if you would like to learn different techniques to exporting, that'll be another video. So we're just going to select high quality 1080. Here you have your location to where you can save your video. I'm just going to save mine in finished projects. Now we can either send it to the media encoder or we can just select export. Media encoder allows you to queue your render, which means you can render it while still editing in Premiere Pro. Or you can select export, which will just stay on and you can just export the video. We're just gonna select export. As you can see, there's our video. But that's all I have for you today, guys. 
this is basically the entry world into editing but if you want to get more in depth in different techniques different effects and how everything more advanced works that'll be another video but for now play around with it use it and get editing thank you all for watching please like comment and subscribe and stay tuned for another video i'm out